All right, guys. I've got uh, some questions. Maybe you guys can help me with. I've got this. Uh, looks like to be a hand-built extra 260. Um, I don't know who built it. Uh, I got this in part of a trade on another airplane. Um, it's not really what I'm into. This is more set up for pattern. As a matter of fact, you can see. Let's take a look here at these wings. <laughs> the throw. That's maximum throw, right? It's just that's max up that's max down you know this is nothing like i fly i like to fly 3d stuff and uh i mean i'm sure this would be a pattern if you're in the power pretty good that'd be enough notice that the aileron doesn't go all the way across um it does have some cool features though i think um this cowling let's take a look here it has a split cowling it's made out of fiberglass which is kind of cool um you can see it's got pretty heavy duty motor box it's all out of plywood um, the cowling is reinforced with balsa and stuff, and it's got like a lip on there. I'm not sure who built this or whatever, but um, I kind of like the airplane, the way it's set up. It's got some neat stuff, like I said. My question is, would you guys redo this airplane, or would you sell it and just get a new one, or not waste your time? Um, there's the main hatch. You can take a look inside. It's like all plywood. It's got like a foam core, and I know a lot of people don't like this foam in between the plywood. I don't know if that is bad or good, but all the new stuff I see doesn't have this foam inside the uh, fuselage. Uh, it doesn't have the, it back here in the back area. It just has the ribs, but up the front here has uh, this foam block. Um, it's got some aluminum angle holding it uh, across. Uh, I kind of like the way the tail section comes apart. The rudder and elevator are both removable. Um, you see right here, this lifts off. There's some studs right in the back. Some dowels that sit into some holes, okay? And this tail comes in. And then from the bottom, you see those two holes? These shoulder bolts come through the bottom and hold it all together. Does this just slides in like that, okay? And the elevator comes off. Let me slide this back on there for a second. Now this elevator doesn't have a lot of throw either. You can see that it's just not very much at all. For pattern work that might be cool, but for what I like it's not cool. So I'm going to have to come in and uh, put a triangle stock on this right here. Put a triangle here and let it move. And uh, I think it might be enough elevator, I'm not sure, but uh, the time and effort to redo the elevator uh, and the throw on the rudder and the uh, redo the ailerons, it might not be worth it. Um, what would you do if this is your plane? Um, now, it's not that heavy. Um, without the motor or the servos, but the whole plane itself, it is uh, 16 pounds, three ounces. I, just, I weighed it just a minute ago. It's got wheel pants. And I think I could lighten it up again because it's using an aluminum... Uh, aluminum wing tube okay and it's got aluminum landing gear okay so i could get carbon fiber landing gear and carbon fiber wing tube i'll show you the root of the wing let me set the camera down just a second see it uses the aluminum dowel pins and uh, there's the wing tube the wing cord itself is kind of thick. Let me come around this side. Sorry about this bad cam work, guys. It's not really a thin wing like you'd see on a extreme flight or anything, but it's not too thick. I don't know. Um, anyhow, I don't know what, how this thing would fly or anything. It's got a big old gas tank in there. And it's got a rubber mount bracket for the motor. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Rubber mounted motor. I don't know what they had in there for rubber, but might help with vibration. Might be too much flex. I noticed that new style stuff does not have that. Anyhow, give me tell me what you think. If you know what this is or who might have built it, his AMA number is uh, 190314. I got this plane in Las Vegas. Um, let's see here. It says pilot, but then it's covered up, so <laughs> I don't know. Well, there might be a name under that covering. I'll have to take a look. Anyhow, 
this is where we're at guys thanks for watching